One of the more common measuring tools, or most common measuring tools used in the shop, is a ruler. And here's two rulers I have here. One's a six inch ruler, the small scale. And the other one on top is actually a 12 inch one. And like many tools, you're, these are available in different lengths. I've seen rulers up to 40 inches and, or 48 inches, depending on what you're using them for. Now the most important thing you need to learn about rulers is how to use them. And these rulers are both have the same um, characteristics about them. These are called 4R rulers and if you look here, I'm going to zoom in here and we'll get a, a better picture. A 4R ruler denotes the type of divisions that are on the faces. If I turn these rulers over, there is also inch markings on the other side. We'll get to that in a second. But if you notice here on the bottom left corner, you can read eighths. Okay? What that means is between every inch is eight lines and that's going to help you measure depending on the amount of accuracy you need will determine the scale you choose. So if I was, if my piece was up to here, I would, I would count off three eighths of an inch. Now on the other side, and I'll flip this around, you'll see the other scale. Here on the other side of this one is sixteenths, and you'll see there's twice the amount of lines on here. There's actually sixteen lines from the edge of the blade up to here. So what you need to do is count those lines, and then underneath will be sixteenths. Now I flip the ruler over and you'll see the next division is 30 seconds and there's 30 second lines from the edge of the ruler to the one inch part. Now can you guess what's going to be on the other side of this one? Well if you guess 60 fourths then you're right. Now you see how common these fractions are. We see these fractions over and over and over again. 64 divisions between the edge of the ruler and this one and the one inch mark. So which one is the more accurate scale to read? Well if you said 64 you're right because the lines are closer together it allows you to measure accurately. Now what's important about rulers is that you don't bang them because these edges become marked up and that's really important edge because it, you can also check and see if something's flat by sticking it up to there. Okay, these metal, these metal rulers are made for durability in the shop and if you notice this one this is stainless steel tempered. It's a special type of steel designed to, for durability in the shop and accuracy. an essential tool and probably one that you should pick up in a 6 and 12 inch one.